Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Norbert and my lovely wife Diana. Hi. We would like to give you a little introduction about who we are, what we are doing in Spain and what to expect from the channel in the future. But before we move forward, I take you back to 2012. So we lived in Hungary until 2012 when we decided that we would like to move abroad to learn English, to experience new things. And because we just felt that somehow we don't belong in Hungary. We chose England because it wasn't too far from Hungary and we had some friends who could help us at the beginning. Moving abroad for the first time was exciting and scary. Gosh, we faced so many challenges, also had really good times with people we've met. We were kind of settled down after five years when we had an opportunity to move to Australia. Norbert had a dream of living in Australia for more than 10 years, so we decided to grab that opportunity. We arrived to Australia in 2017 on the student visa. It is a beautiful country, we enjoyed traveling around, we met with so many people that we connected with. We kind of felt settled down once again when we had to make a decision whether we should extend our visa and stay in the country for a few more years or move back to Europe. We missed Europe so much and somehow we kept thinking about the idea of moving to Spain in the last 11 years. We had many holidays in Spain from England and we just fell in love with it. So once again we decided to leave Australia and booked flights back to Hungary in September 2022. We packed everything into a container and decided to store our container in North Adam because we just didn't know where we are going to end up living. We've arrived to Hungary and we had some things to sort out before we could start thinking about where we want to live. It took us around three months in Hungary to realize that the reasons why we left Hungary in the first place are still valid for us today. We bought a car, spent some time with family and friends and started to plan our road trip to Spain. We didn't want to drive too long hours so we booked some accommodation along the way. Once the car was so full of stuff we couldn't properly close the doors. We embarked on our journey to Spain in December. We drove through Slovenia first where it was very cold. Mountains and houses covered with snow, somehow it felt magical. Snow outside, warm in the car, singing along to music. The next country was Italy. Dramatic change in scenery and the weather was different too. We stopped for the night near Venice. We had pizza for dinner and we had a good night's sleep. Woke up the next morning ready to continue our journey when we realized that we need fuel and that day was Sunday and most petrol stations were closed. Luckily we found one open just before we ran out of fuel. We continued our journey towards France. The scenery was pretty, the weather was sunny and warmish. We stopped in Menton, there was a Christmas market going on, beautiful buildings, people everywhere, having fun. We spent the afternoon discovering the area, we walked like 10 kilometers that evening. The accommodation that we booked was so good, comfy, warm, we had everything for a good rest that we really needed after the long day we had. Then finally we crossed the border to Spain. The weather was unbelievably warm, the sun was shining, the skies were blue. We stopped for the night just in the outskirts of Barcelona. But we were so tired from the previous day that we decided to just stay in a room and chill.
On the last day of our journey, we are at the Costa Blanca and here we are now starting a new life in Spain. So what you can expect from the channel, we try to document everything for you guys. How we settle down here, the challenges we face and the areas we explore as well and everything about our daily life. If you would like to support us in our journey, please check out our Patreon channel below in the comments section and hope you find this video interesting and if you did, please like and subscribe to our channel, it would mean a lot to us. If you were here till the end, please leave a comment below. Say hi, we would like to hear from you. Bye! Bye.